Hey guys, Viper6. There's a uh, vlogger that I'm subscribed to. His name is Rob Ash. And he asked for our opinion on uh, what bike to choose next. And it was overwhelming to go for this one. <clears throat> so he's going to take it out for a test drive. And uh, I'm really curious to find out what he thinks of it. I personally like it <laughs> and uh, I sure hope he does too because uh, I think he's getting rid of his Harley to get rid of something a little less expensive. He's a cool guy, you should check him out, Rob Ash. And I'm really curious to see what he thinks of it because uh, he's been riding for years and uh, I always uh, appreciate opinions like that because uh, for me this is my first sports tour and I think Rob is going to like that part it, uh, it's an 850 and it moves like stink <laughs> so Rob I want to see you do that okay <laughs> So earlier today, my son came by with his uh, new 1999 Mustang and uh, we cleaned out the air filter. He had, had a cold air intake that was stuffed inside the fender and uh, wait. Yeah, that's much different than my cruiser. And it was like, I don't think the guy ever cleaned that uh, air filter. So I'm sure the engine's going to be happy. It can actually breathe a little better. And he's got some other work to do, and we found out he's got some sort of weird leak coming in from somewhere into the trunk because he had like three inches of water in the trunk. And I suspect it's one of the drain plugs because I see that I saw that the uh, previous owner put a patch over there. There's no rust anywhere, but there's a flaw in there for sure. So uh, one day I'm gonna lock him up in the trunk, grab the pressure washer, and start. Uh, hitting the car with water and uh, once he finds the leak I told him to uh, tap on the trunk lid so that I can let him out that's if I feel like letting him out and then we'll see uh, what we can do about it I figured I, I, th I suspect it's a seam so it's, it's just going to take a half a tube of silicone and re-silicone uh, everything <clears throat> but besides that now he's on the hunt for snow tires because it actually snowed here yesterday so whatever it is what it is Hori, I know I'm not supposed to talk about the weather but it sucks when it snows already <clears throat> because late yesterday morning was 1.8 degrees here and today it's actually 14 so I figured I'd uh, go out and uh, vlog but man it poured all weekend like solid So yeah, so I told my son start looking for snow tires because there's a uh, Kijiji, which is like a Craigslist or whatever other sites are around the world for uh, selling surplus stuff or secondhand stuff. And there's a set I found there with uh, guy that says came off a of Ford, one season on the snow tires. They come with alloy rims, two ninety five. So that's a sweet deal. It'll save him like seven hundred bucks. And uh, Rob, one thing I forgot to mention. If you want to lift the front end on this, you can do it on first, second, third. But you have to re you have to turn off the traction control. Or as soon as it detects the front wheel off the ground, it cuts the power. So that's the only way you're going to lift the front end. <clears throat> so remember that. Traction control off. You can do it in standard mode. Because you'll find that uh, A mode is uh, very squirrely. Like it's like... It's almost like a two-stroke, on-off, as soon as you hit the throttle. B-mode for rain is like, you can give it as much throttle as you want, and it's a smooth acceleration, no no big jerks, you know? Whereas here, even on standard, if, if, if I do this, it's like very twitchy. But so far, I like it. Twitchy is good.
and tomorrow it's going back to work. But I did get a promotion, so that's always good. It's it's just a it's I wouldn't I don't know if you want to call it a promotion. It's 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 the same grade. It's the same pay, but they bumped me up a grade, which kind of helps the pension a little. And if ever there's bonuses, I get bumped up to an extra five percent bonus. So that's always good. Let me close my helmet. I find this helmet produces a lot of wind noise. And we have the police. Let's try not to get any spitting tickets. Be a nice little boy. Do 62 in a 60, that's good. And then you get the guy right up your ass. I really don't like that. Yeah, I gotta do something about the horn on this thing because it's kind of pathetic. It's like the Roadrunner. Okay. Where's that cop? Okay, goodbye, cart. And I didn't even have to change gear. I'm still in third. And there he is, four miles behind. You gotta love that. I find that you really rarely have to put it in sixth gear. Because if you're doing speed limit at 107, you're still just revving at five. It still says I'm riding it in eco, which means conserving fuel. And I'm gonna have to change lane, so... Lose the truck. Yeah, this morning the mountains were all white. And even some of the roofs on the homes. It's like, it's too early for this. And for those of you that know, don't know, I don't know if you can see that hill down there. That's where they had the uh, 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. That's kind of the Olympic Park. Mirror extenders should do the trick. I can see behind me. The only thing is uh, this bike has a, a growl at around 5,000 RPM. And you feel the vibrations. And it inputs it right into the mirror. So they do vibrate. You can see there's headlights there. But you can't really see if it's a cop or anything. Which kind of sucks. Okay, if you're going to get in, get in quicker, buddy. Hello. Ah, oh, come on. Don't mess up my turn. I like this turn. Okay, you gonna change lane? Change lane. Yay. What do you do? Oh yeah, you're special. Let's see, with my cruiser, I can take this at 60, and that's kind of like... I did it at 70, it's kind of pushing it. But my tires are kind of cold, so... 72, 76, 79, okay, not bad. Still kind of scared to lean it more. I gotta get rid of that. And I started watching uh, Twist of the Wrist 2, as per R1 Chronicles advice. Except it said when you finish watching it, watch it again. Okay. Yes, sir. Madam, sir. <clears throat> I feel like I'm in school. So, yeah, I think uh, anybody who owns a bike like this, I think they're going to enjoy the weight maneuvers. It's, it's kind of cool. And it's got power, so. It's not that I abuse the power, but it's nice to have it in case you need to get out of a jam, you know? Like, especially when you're merging into traffic and stuff. Not like the cruiser where you got to start calculating when you're going to be able to get in and stuff. This thing, it's like, okay, you want in now, get in now. And it's done. And the brakes are also <laughs> a lot more effective than my cruiser. 
my cruiser I don't know if it's my cruiser or if it's any cruiser that weighs 800 pounds but if you have to hit the brakes it, it's almost like hitting the brakes on a car maybe just slightly better but it's not like it stops like a, a sports bike this thing stops like a store as like a sports bike and that's why I appreciate the ABS not that I engaged it yet I haven't even felt a click So tomorrow night I gotta go to the gym because my wife and I joined the gym because it's good for you. See if I can beat some of the uh, health issues I have with my back, build up the muscles around it because I have uh, a very very crooked back from a tobogganing accident when I was 12. And uh, as you become less active, uh, I think the muscles start to uh, disappear and uh, the pain starts to set in. And uh, it's not good. So I'm going to the gym. I told the guy I want to build up my back muscles because I don't want to be in a wheelchair in my older years. Oh yeah, I see these things. It's a school zone, right? So today technically is no school, so I can do 50 kilometers in that 30. But our wonderful mayor decided that every school zone is going to become a playground zone and is going to have the new rules in effect, which means seven days a week, 12 months a year, from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 at night, you're going to do 30 kilometers an hour there. Now to me, that is just nothing but a money grab. I love the way this thing corners. And then I hit a playground zone, so you can even have fun. It's like they should build a city for sports bikes. With speed limits for sports bikes. So that you can have fun. And I have a job to do on my truck because I found that one of the struts on the left front is leaking. At 60,000 kilometers it's leaking, which is really unusual. And Toyota said, oh, you have 61,000 kilometers, so it's no longer under warranty. I'll go, thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, your battery is very weak. I noticed something, but I didn't figure a two and a half year old battery was going to be... Uh, clonking out. Oh, and by the way, that's not war under warranty anymore because it's 61,000 kilometers on your truck. So they dinged me for that and I said, no, don't touch the strut. I'll deal with the strut. So, and you know, you can't do one strut. You got to do both and then I'll change the shocks in the back and uh, Bob's your uncle. If you have an uncle called Bob. So that's it, guys. Rob, let me know how your test ride goes.